Welcome back. I now have the pleasure of sitting down with Juan Loeza, our Executive Vice President of Database Technologies. Juan, thank you so much for joining us on Oracle TV. Uh, thanks for having me, Kendall. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here. It's uh, It's been an exciting day. Uh, you just got off the keynote stage. It was very great. We got some great feedback there. But for anybody who maybe missed it, um, can you give us the top takeaways from your keynote and what you hoped that everybody here took back, uh, took back their offices with them? Okay, I'll give you the very, very short uh, uh, summary. The big summary is we are building all the data technologies the enterprises needs in a fashion where they all work seamlessly together and are state-of-the-art best of breed, and we're infusing the whole thing with AI. So the idea is you don't have the complexity of having to build this yourself. We built it all together, all the data types, all the workloads, AI, engineered systems, analytics, OLTP. It's all there. It's all best of breed. It all works seamlessly together. You get high availability, disaster recovery, scalability, everything. And when you mix all these technologies, it's dramatically better than anything in the market. Okay, so we need to peel this back. And by the way, that was beautifully concise, but we're going to dive into every single part of that now. Uh oh, Howard. <laughs> right? Okay, uh. so first and foremost, um, what are the top challenges that businesses face today when it comes to data management? There's all sorts of challenges. I mean, clearly, a big thing now is you got to get on top of AI. Yeah. AI is clearly the next big thing. And how do you do it? Where, where do you do it? And how do you make it enterprise grade? Yeah. How do you make sure that? The answers that your customers get are reliable. They don't leak private data and that they're simple. Uh, so that's a big thing. And we're doing that by integrating AI with the data and making the whole thing seamless. Right. Um, and we built the whole platform so you can get AI extremely simply. You can write five lines of SQL, uh, run a query that uses AI and business search to produce answers for customers. Um, we're building enterprise-grade apps that are fully secure and private using AI. Uh, we're generating them with our low-code environment. So, so that is probably the biggest thing that enterprises need to worry about because you can't set the AI revolution out. You have to be on it, and you have to be leading edge on it. Uh, but in addition to that, there's all the traditional things like scalability, availability is ever more important. Uh, security, cyber attacks are going up, so that's another huge area right. that everyone worries about. Um, one of the ways that we're kind of helping simplify this um, and overcome these challenges is with our latest Exadata X11M. Can you tell us a bit more about what's new with that and how our customers will benefit from that? Yeah, so we've been building on Exadata for many years. We have the large majority of the large businesses in the world today running on Exadata, whether it's banks, telecoms, retailers, manufacturing companies, everyone. It's been extremely successful. We keep enhancing that technology. It gets dramatically faster for OLTP, for analytics. Uh, a big thing now is we've made it available in every leading cloud in the world. Wow. So it's available on Azure. It's available on Google. Yeah. It's available on Amazon. Of course, it's available on Oracle Cloud. And we can bring that cloud to your data center also. Right. So now it's available everywhere. You pay for it using your existing cloud vendor credits. Um, so it's it's... The, all that high uh, mission critical technology now everywhere you want it. And we made it super easy to use and super easy to manage in the cloud. So that's probably the biggest thing there. And then let's not forget, we put AI into the Exadata technology. Also, it runs AI dramatically faster than other platforms. There you go. Well, and speaking of um, multi-cloud and, and our Oracle Autonomous Database is running in every major cloud provider, just the ones you listed, AWS, Google, Azure, why was right now the right time to do this? And what is it offering? These What are these types of partnerships offering our customers? Yeah, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Our customers are running super important um, systems that run the world, whether it's banking, telecom, retailing, all that. And they need the capabilities that Oracle's developed over decades. And so now is the time because as the migration is happening in the cloud, we want to be there to support them to make it easy for them to migrate the cloud and without losing anything. So everything they have, all, this, all the technology they have runs seamlessly in the cloud. It's very easy to migrate. You don't lose any availability, security, scaling, everything. Everything just works. And then to, on top of that, what kind of opportunities does this open up for them? You talked about the challenge of flexibility. How does this bring them more flexibility? Uh, yeah, so... A big thing with our cloud technologies is, you mentioned before, autonomous. So 
it's traditionally been difficult to create a high scale mission critical system in the cloud. It's super easy. We do all the work. So you can just say, give me a database. I want this much CPU. I want this much storage. And then you can just use it. Uh, we take care of all the management, availability, security, all that for you. Wow. Um, so even the smallest businesses now can get the same technology that the biggest banks, the biggest telecoms in the world have relied on. Yeah. Uh, so there's no reason to settle for anything less. And it's very affordable in the cloud also. You can start very small at low cost. You can grow to any scale you want. Um, and every technology that we built is there. Switching gears a little bit, uh, couldn't do this interview without talking about 23AI, of course. Um, tell us about some of the game-changing innovations within Database 23AI. Yeah, there's so many. Um, it's hard It's hard to go through the list. But, of course, the biggest is AI. Of course. AI is built into the database. We've built uh, AI search with special indexes. You can run AI technology in milliseconds. So when a user, end user has a question using natural language, we can answer that question using the customer's data in literally in milliseconds. So it's real time. Yeah. It has all the capabilities of Oracle Data. So it's ready for mission critical on day one because it's just another type of workload in the same Oracle database that we've been working on for decades. So that's, that's a huge thing. We've unified the relational graph and um, JSON models, document models. That's a huge thing for the future for new development. Yeah. Uh, we have our distributed database that's very useful for super high availability, for data sovereignty, as there are more and more regulations about uh, data be staying in the sovereign country. Uh, there's a true cache capabilities. There's so many capabilities. Uh, we standardize graph technologies and put them uh, natively into the Oracle database. We think we have now the ability to run Mongo database apps directly against the Oracle database. Right. So you get all the benefits of Mongo with everything from Oracle. More and it's completely transparent. Yeah. The existing apps run, you don't have to do anything. Wow. So there's, and that's just a few of the capabilities in 23i. It's, it's really a game changing release. Another, another biggie is uh, AI vector search. Um, can you tell, this how, tell us how this helps customers run queries easier and faster? Yeah, so... The, the key idea to understand around AI vectors is databases have been very good at querying and maintaining business data. Right. So, you know, purchase orders, you know, telephone calls, bank transactions. What they've not been good at is what I call human-centric data. So a human document, like a Word document or PDF, a picture or a movie, that kind of thing. We've never been able to do anything interesting within the database. You can, you can find them, but that's it. Uh, now, this AI technology uh, and human language to like documents. Right. Now, with this new AI technology, it's enabled these human-centric interfaces and human-centric data. So you can literally talk to your database in your native language. Your natural language. And yeah. it will respond to your questions. Find data, respond to your questions. You can ask it for images. It'll find the images. You can just describe what you want. Yeah. Uh, you can uh, take apart videos. Uh, so these things that were never possible, they were never close to possible two or three years ago, are now not only possible, they're super easy to use because we've integrated this AI searching with business search. Yeah. Um, so you can run it against your business data uh, and in real time as data comes in. So so that's very new technology. I, honestly, I've been in this business for decades. I never thought I'd see this. And it suddenly... Is now possible literally in the last couple of years. Yeah, it is truly incredible. And also the speed of innovation, as you said, I mean, truly, truly incredible. Um, to wrap up here, as we're talking about 23AI, any great customer examples that are using 23AI to really achieve great things? Yeah, we have a lot. So Winning. I think, um, you know, again, I've been at Oracle a long time. I've seen more interest in 23AI and in, and in AI than anything in the past. Yeah. Yeah. Um, People are really excited about it. Uh, so we have a lot of customers using it for all sorts of applications. Everything from manufacturing, finding defects in products. For a uh, customer can upload an image. They can find it in a catalog. Right. Uh, fraud detection. So insurance companies are using it for fraud yeah. uh, detection. Uh, for matching patterns of buying. So you say, hey, customers that buy this might also be interested in that. Right. right. Uh, the most amazing one that, you know, it's interesting for me because I, I, in my wildest dreams, I never thought I'd, I'd see it happen is for, uh, for diagnosing infections in humans yeah. by taking a gene sequence of your blood and then identifying the bacteria that you have that, that, that's in, that, that you're infected with. Wow. Uh, that's happening in the Oracle database with a company called BioFi. 
Wow. Uh, that's production now. And I never thought I'd see anything like that. So AI capabilities are being used for all sorts of different applications that are truly amazing. I mean, first of all, I have full body chills. That is yeah. such a cool story. Um, and it truly, again, just amazing. It's not just, it's not just, you know, technology changing the game for businesses. This is life. This is world changing. Yes. It's, it's incredible. Um, Final question here. Uh, you hit on gen dev um, and the ground breaking technologies that will help data dev and app dev be more AI centric. What are we doing to make this happen? Yeah. So one of the things that we're very focused on is enterprise. Right. Um, and when you talk about AI, you'll see a lot of things on the web where people are like, oh, I can quickly generate this app using AI. And you can, uh, but that's not enterprise grade. Right. Um, Enterprises have much higher stringent criteria. It has to be secure. You cannot leak uh, customers' private data, health right. data, banking data. You just cannot leak this. You go to jail for doing that. Right. Uh, it, it can never happen 100% of the time. So you can't depend on the AI getting it right 100% of the time. You can't depend on not hallucinating something. So a lot of the work that we're doing is making AI, combining our technology with AI so it's simple, but it's also enterprise grade. So we're moving things like the security into the database, atomicity into the database, evolvability of the data into the database. So the AI can just focus on what it's good at, which is really generating kind of like the user interfaces and, and the actions. And we make sure that the security, the atomicity of the data, the consistency of the data, the evolvability of the data, disaster recovery, all that, we guarantee that underneath the AI uh, and that's really what's going to make it possible to use AI for real enterprise apps. Well, I cannot wait for what's ahead. Juan, thank you so much for joining us on Oracle TV. All right. It's been a pleasure.